Welcome to another great school year. This school year will test you. It will deplete all of your energy, bring you to tears, and make you question every talent or skill you thought you had. But all of these tests, if you approach them the right way, will leave you better and stronger than you are today. Advice is available everywhere you look, and some of it is very good. Still, with everything you have to do right now, it's easy to get overwhelmed. The fact is, a lot of those tips won't work well if you fail to follow this one essential rule. Surround yourself with good people. By finding the positive, supportive, energetic teachers in your school and sticking close to them, you can improve your job satisfaction more than with any other strategy. Your chances of excelling in this field will skyrocket. Thriving depends largely on who you plant yourself next to. Gardeners follow a concept called companion planting, placing certain vegetables and plants near each other to improve growth. Among companion plants, the marigold is one of the best. If you plant a marigold beside any garden vegetable, that vegetable will grow big and strong and healthy, protected and encouraged by its marigold. Marigolds exist in our schools, encouraging, supporting, and nurturing staff members. If you can find at least one marigold in your school and stay close to them, you will grow. Find more than one and you will positively thrive. You may be lucky enough to be planted close to a marigold. It may be a mentor, a co-teacher, or a team leader. You can identify them by the way they congratulate you on arrival or by the way their offers to help sound sincere or just by how you feel when you're with them. If you feel good around this person, chances are they have some marigold qualities. Once you've identified your marigolds, make an effort to spend time with them. Having a hard day? Go to your marigolds. Seek them out, connect with them. They may be on the other side of the building, but make the effort. It is worth the trouble. While seeking out your marigolds, take note of the walnut trees. Walnut trees give off a toxic substance that can inhibit growth and ultimately kill nearby plants. Sadly, if your school is like most, walnut trees will be abundant. They may not seem dangerous at first. Some may appear to be good teachers, happy, social, well-organized. Their take on kids is negative. Their take on administration is negative. Being around them makes you feel negative. Walnut trees are poisonous. Avoid them whenever you can. If you don't avoid them, they will start to infect you and soon you'll hate teaching as much as they do. Doing this may be a challenge. Your supervisor or co-teacher might be a walnut tree. You might work on a whole team of walnut trees, but touching base with your marigolds will help flush out the toxins that the walnut trees create. If you can identify the walnut trees, they will have far less of an impact on you. There are many types of walnut trees. Kid Hayton Kate, who will snort every time you share a positive anecdote about your students. Spend enough time with her and you'll believe every single one of them is a lying, cheating, sneak, and you're a fool if you think otherwise. Retirement Ronnie who regularly reports on how many years he has left before he's out of here, and then adds with a chuckle that you have about 30, right? Ronnie will find your enthusiasm about school cute, but then will tell you to just wait. It'll wear off. Hattie, who hates the principal. That's self-explanatory. Good old days, Dorothy, who hates anything new and never fails to mention how much better things used to be. And finally, my time Margaret, who counts the number of minutes she has for lunch, complains about serving one more day of car rider duty than anyone else, and knows precisely what time she's legally required to be in the building each day, not a minute earlier. Not everyone is all marigold or all walnut tree. There will be some in the building who just make you happy. Go to them for a mood boost. Some who aren't terribly good at the teaching part but love the kids to death, Seek them out when you need to be reminded of how much you love them too. 
Others will take care of you, encourage you to rest, not beat yourself up. And some who always have a great strategy on hand, they can really help you stretch your abilities. Learn who has what marigold qualities and get what you can from each of them. During staff meetings and PDs, if you find yourself in a forest of walnut trees, when the presenter asks you to perform some task, read student work for example, the trees will slowly turn towards the center leaves, rustling, snarky comments, dropping off their branches like walnuts and whacking the table. It won't matter how interesting the activity might be. As soon as they huddle up, it will be snark, snark, ugly, ugly, hate, hate. When this happens, recognize it. Hold tight to your roots and remember your marigolds. Finally, try to have some compassion for the walnut trees. Their toxicity comes from a place of real pain. They themselves have been influenced by a walnut tree who came before them. Plus, it's not like their complaints don't have any reality. Teaching is a ridiculously hard job. Some say almost impossible, like climbing Mount Everest. Even though you're aware of the difficulty, you have accepted the challenge. So before you climb that peak, you'll need a Sherpa. The first option is Walter Nutt who starts by asking why in the world you'd want to do something like this. Why would you want to work in a school? The second option you have is Mary Gold. She congratulates you on your courage, sits down with you to map out some important strategies and finishes off by saying it's a crazy hard mammoth task, but you know what? You are going to do great things. What do you want your year to look like? Find your marigolds, stick close to them, grow big and strong, conquer that mountain because you are in control of your journey. While I encourage you to find your marigold this year, I also challenge you to be a marigold. Nurture, support, encourage others because after all, this is a ridiculously hard job, but it is the best job.